Hello there, guys. Welcome back to a short online tutorial. Today, we're based in Adobe Photoshop. And it's, of course, your good friend from Blue Sky Graphics, Jack, here to show you some really cool stuff. What I want to do today, guys, is show you how to use the generative fill just to add any elements to your image very easily just by giving uh, a good prompt and a good selection. And it's quite impressive, this new tool. It's just been released by uh, Adobe. There's new uh, AI software in Adobe Photoshop. Premiere Pro, Illustrator, so please make sure you take a look. But from a Photoshop standpoint, it's very impressive. And it's very easy for us now just to add simple elements to our images. As you can see here, I have an image of a house uh, with a garage here. And what I want to do is add a car in front of it. Okay, so what we normally have to do in the past is find another image from another source, layer mask, adjustment layers to make it suit within the uh, environment here. Or the lighting and the uh, the lighting and the shadows and all that kind of stuff, but now they've made it a lot easier for us to do. So all I'm going to do first of all is make a selection. It's really important that you understand that when you're using the generative fill, you must make sure you make a selection. So what I'm going to do is use the rectangular marquee tool here. I'm just going to come through and create a selection like so. And what happens is you get this little taskbar that pops open here. And you can see that we have generative fill. And what we do is we give it a, like a little prompt. So what I'm going to say here is, please, can you add a sports car? Very simple. And then we'll press generate. And this is normal, guys, because uh, the system is sending messages up to the cloud. They're trying to work out my prompt to give me the best uh, result. And the benefit of this as well is they will give me three different alternatives to choose from. So you don't have to set it for the first one. Just give it any second now, and there should be a result that comes up. Like I said, this is quite normal. Um, it happens quite often. It's just the system working it out. And there's the first result. So not bad, as you can see. Let's have a look at the second one. And let's have a look at the third one. I think I want to go for the first one there, like so. And what you can also do is you can generate again if you want to. So if you're not happy with those three results, you can generate again. Like I said, I'm pretty happy with the first one. Now, I think that looks quite realistic there. Um, and if you were to look at this image, not knowing that AI had been used, you wouldn't think um, AI had been used. That's how impressive and um, forward thinking it is. And it's the future, guys. So there's this, there's this fourth result, the fifth and the sixth. Oh, I quite like that one as well. You know what? No, let's go for the first one there. Like so. And there you have it, guys. That's how you easily add things, add elements to your imagery within Adobe Photoshop using the generative fill option. If you're interested in finding out more about the school, the courses that we offer, please take a look at our website at bluesquaregraphics.co.uk. Thank you very much, guys. Take care, and I'll see you next time.